Welcome to Ron Ron. Today we are baking cookies. I thought it'd be so fun to do that with Aaron and prove that I do not yell and boss him around in the kitchen. <laughs> in my defense, I like cooking and I would like to cook more, but when I do cook with a certain somebody, I get yelled at. This is not true sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it, I have a certain way things need to be, but this is a really good challenge for us to bake together and I'm gonna try not to be a control freak. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below if you wanna see more cooking videos, but honestly, we're gonna see how this one goes before we decide if we're gonna cook together. <laughs> ever again. <laughs> we will cook together. I read a lot of our Ron Ron DMs on Instagram and a lot of you guys keep talking about the one. You have a lot of questions, you want some advice about it, and so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share with you guys our thoughts about the one or like soulmate. <laughs> but I am down to answer questions. Let's get started. First things first, in a separate bowl, Mix flour, baking soda, salt, baking powder, and then set aside. So we got three cups of flour. Teamwork. So what we're going to need to start off is butter, sugar, brown sugar, vanilla extract, two large eggs, flour, baking soda, baking powder, teaspoon of salt, and two cups of chocolate chips. More like half a cup now, since Aaron keeps eating all the chocolate. Okay, baking powder, we need half a teaspoon. Okay, okay, so what's, we're, we're talking about the one? Like, yeah, we're talking about like the one, like do you believe in the one? I'll ask you first, do you believe in the in the one? I think so. Really? Do you not believe in the one? I'm, I'm asking you first. I believe that you are the one for me. I agree with that statement, but as far as there only being one specific person for one specific person out there, I don't know. I don't You're saying that there's gonna be someone else for you out there than me? No. That's what you just said. No, okay, it's you know. not what I said. I'm just saying that there's a lot of different circumstances and a lot of different situations that need to be included when discussing the one. Well then, what about like soulmates? Cause you know, oh. are you getting like confused with soulmates versus the one? Because I think you can have m many soulmates in life, you know? I used to I believe was... in like one soulmate, one person, but then I just put too much pressure on myself. It narrowed my vision when it came to the dating world. Mm. But then I found you and you were way out to... Wait, let me think before I speak any further. This is why we don't bake together. <laughs> It's not a bad thing. I'm just saying that like, what if I never moved to California? What if I stayed in North Carolina? What if you never moved to California? This is true. And, and I see what you mean. We're not perfect. We have moments where we argue. We don't agree on everything. Yeah. But I still love you and I still think you are the one for me and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Mm. Did that save it at all? I think so. Okay. Yeah. I see Ooh. what you mean because if I would have stayed back in like Kansas City, I probably yeah. would have just been in the same relationship that I was in for a really long time. I do kind of believe in destiny though. Okay. Fate. Which fate, which okay. is something we can agree on. Yeah, I, I would agree it. that. Okay, since we're talking about the one, I feel like we need a special guest to give us their point of view. Is that okay? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Welcome to Ron Ron, our first official guest ever. Bum -ba -da -bum. My little brother, Andrew! Oh, wow. It's so bright in here. <laughs> you see the audience yes, behind me? We have so many audience members Hi. here. Hey, everybody. Why am I here? I have a question. Sorry to wake you up from your nap. Um, <laughs> do you believe in the one? You answer that while we do this. Okay. Do I believe in the one? Yes, a one. Uh, have you found the one? Are you looking for the whoa, one? Whoa, whoa, Let's whoa, get that DT too. My goodness. I'm not gonna go that deep into it, but do I believe in the one? Yes and no. I think there's many ones. <laughs> uh, and I think you make ones as deep. Thank you. You make ones. You make as ones. In oh, hey, I get it, I get it. Good, just to elaborate a little more. He means that you meet all these people and you decide to put the work into that relationship and they become your one. I've dated quite a few people and if I didn't date these people, it wouldn't have led me to you. All those experiences, all those people that I met, like at those at that time I really thought like, oh maybe this could be it, maybe they could be like the end one. game, like end game for me. But for me it was like, were they the one that I would like actually commit to? And in the back of my mind I would say no because I knew that it wouldn't work out with them. So that's why I think there is the one. What? Yeah. 
That's the plot twist. I thought you were going to agree with me. I kind of was agreeing with you until I had that thought. But I mean, like, if you think about it, regardless. What are you doing? I, I'm, 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 you got to let the butter be. Oh. Hold on. Now we got to put the sugar in. But now we're doing a process called creaming the butter and sugar together. So you got to put the sugar. It says combine all sugars. So now put the brown sugar. Ay, ay, ay. And then we got to mix it together. But we're going to use our kitchen aid. Ba -da 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 -da. And I just want to say this is the best wedding gift we ever got. But I will say that so even if you do find the one, every relationship is going to take work. Until it's smooth. While she does that. Beaten eggs and vanilla. And then we need to crack the eggs. Okay. Okay. Oh. Teaspoon ready. All right, go ahead. We need two of them. That's a lot of vanilla. Ooh, look at that though. That looks good. So now what we're going to do, we're gonna add the dry ingredients slowly into here. Beat in until fluffy. Fluffa. And then mix in the dry ingredients until combined. This thing is scary. Fluffiness. There we go. That's fluff. That's fluffy. Okay, now we slowly mix in. Okay, so what are your thoughts on like astrology, like signs, like a, uh, like, you know, I'm a Leo, Aaron, you're an Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius, by the way. Didn't know anything about that stuff, but in the acting world, that's a big thing. Like casting directors are like, what's your sign? And the worst part is that everyone's like, you're an Aquarius. Are we compatible? I think the worst thing is when you're like, Oh, like, I'm a Leo, and then they're like, oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah, and I'm like, and I don't like, get what? it, why does that make sense? What? I'm not self-centered, What? I did not say you were self-centered. That, that was what you implied. Oh my goodness. Do Leos assume too? Bruh. I don't know, I think everyone assumes. Leo and Aquarius love compatibility can be considered as one of the best among the zodiacs. No, did you? Leo's dignity and zeal charm Aquarius, while Aquarius individualism and prudence are admired by Leo. Aquarius attraction to Leo can be likened to month moths. Being drawn to light. Wait, who's the moth though? You and <laughs> I am light. <laughs> Okay. See, look, it's all stuck. That's dope. <laughs> what do we do? That's dope. Just pour in the chocolate. So here is the typical Leo. Leo traits include being confident, comfortable, being the center of attention, drama adoring, she does love her Love is Blind TV shows, ambitious, loyal, fiercely productive of their nearest and dearest, generous, luxury, loving, sunny, and big hearted. Oh wow, okay. I get that. Very big heart. Boom. Oh, that's me. Okay, Aquarius personality traits. Unique, humanitarian, altruistic. What does even altruistic mean? Hey Google, what's altruistic mean? Wow, so it's unselfish, but in a very fancy way to say it. That is very Aaron. Impulsive. I would say he's impulsive. Artistic, loyal, optimistic, intelligent. That's all you! See, every once in a while, I'm like, Zodiac, you're pretty good there. <laughs> I think it's fun to look at like the compatibility and stuff. We are compatible according to the one app. The pattern, run the bond. Our romantic compatibility is powerful and life-changing, rare and exceptional. <laughs> Oh, frustration. Push towards growth. There's a powerful feeling between you and Aaron. He has your attention. You could feel more excited and drawn into his dynamic like you're headed into the unknown. Alternatively, if you're struggling, you could find yourself feeling things more deeply than you do with other partners. I am married to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have our dough for the cookies. Yeah. The oven. I think this is when we preheat the oven and we get the baking tray. The silicone baking mat. Ooh. Which gives you even placements for cookies. It's a two to three. No, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. No, 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 Why no. Why not? It gets it all no, out there. No, 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 no. They, they want to see Aaron, our artwork. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. You're supposed to roll them. I'm really concerned at how sticky and like stretchy it is. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be this consistency. Like, it's stuck. It's not even like Usually falling down. I put down. flour on my hands. Is we used gluten-free flour. 
Another question is, do you know what your love language is? Uh, no. I was gonna I, try and act like I did, but I don't. I think I could guess for you, and I think it would be like acts of service. I think that's definitely your love language because you love to help people and you love to like show. But I think we could take a quiz to see if that's what your love language is. Now we're going to preheat the oven to 375 and then we'll put the cookies inside and let them bake. Okay, so the cookies are baking. It's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. So in the meantime, we're going to take the love language quiz. We found a quick Buzzfeed one, so we'll see how accurate this is. I don't know how accurate it'll be, but I think you should go first. All right, so what is your love language? Take this quiz to find out. Choose the statement that best fits you. I like to spend intimate alone time with people. I feel appreciated when someone helps me with little tasks. I like to spend intimate alone time with people. Yes, I don't like it when people do things for me, but I do appreciate it. Mm, this but is true. You see here. Choose the best statement that best fits you. I love when people give me little things such as candy or flowers. I do love candy. I feel most love when people explain what they enjoy about me. I like candy or flowers. I don't like hearing what people like about me. Choose the best statement that best fits you. I find things such as holding hands romantic. I find things as opening doors for a partner romantic. I do like holding hands. I do too. Okay, choose the best statement that best fits you. I value gifts because they represent love. When people compliment me, I feel treasured. I'm just gonna say gifts. I like gifts. Let's see here. I enjoy spending time with family and friends. I enjoy getting small gifts from friends and I like spending time, yes. That sounds like you very much. Hmm. When somebody helps me, I can tell that they care for me. I enjoy getting letters or texts. What do you like more? Help or letters and texts? <laughs> That's a toughie. Help. Okay. Hugs leave me feeling treasured and appreciated. I feel closer to a person when we are chatting and doing stuff together. I like hugs. I really, I'm a hugger. I'm a hugger too. <laughs> Congratulate me on my accomplishments. When someone does things for me that they don't particularly enjoy doing, I know that they love me. Yes, when, when people do things that I know they don't wanna do, and I do feel bad making people, I don't like making people do things, but when they do things and I'm like, I know that was hard for them to do, but they did it anyways, that shows a lot of love. When someone close to me embraces me, I feel safe. I appreciate the presence that others give me. Hmm. So it's basically asking a hug or a gift. Hug. Okay, and finally, choose the best statement that best fits you. I make contact with someone when I like them. Cuddles, hugs, high fives. I high five everybody all the time. This is true. I deeply appreciate receiving undivided attention. No, I like contact. Mmm, so you are physical touch. People utilize this nonverbal love language to express their appreciation for others. Some people assume that this language is only used to satisfy sensual demands because of its physical aspect, but wanting physical touch is typically more about feeling noticed and safe. I think this article is not as accurate. <laughs> Because I really do think you, your way of showing love is gift giving. Yes. There's, there's like a gift one. Um, acts of service. like acts that, of service. And that's what it's missing. I would say acts of service more over I'm just than saying, the it's physical getting hot time. in here. I don't know if it's the test or if it's the oven, but I'm getting a little sweaty in here. Well, we know that physical touch is one of them, but it's definitely acts of service. <laughs> For sure. It can be accurate, but it's, I like to spend intimate alone time with people. I do like to do that. But I also like it when someone helps me with little tasks. She does like that a lot, like cooking. All right, just click it. First yes. response, boom. I'm doing that one. Um, I love when people give me little things such as candy or flowers. No, I love, I feel most loved when people explain what they enjoy about me. Just click it. I feel like <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I find such things as hand-holding romantic, yes. Oh yeah, we're hand-holders. Yes. I value gifts because they represent love. When people compliment me, I feel treasured. Your hair looks really nice today. Thank you. You know, I think I do like the compliments. I enjoy spending time with family and friends. Yes. When someone helps me, I can tell they care for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hugs leave me feeling treasured and appreciated. Yes. I value it when people congratulate me on my, on my accomplishments. When someone does things for me they don't particularly enjoy doing, I know that they love me. I like that one. When someone close to me embraces me, I feel safe. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the presence that others give me. I feel safe. And finally, oh, I make contact 
with someone when I like them. Cuddles, hugs, high fives, yep. I deeply appreciate receiving undivided attention from just one person. I kind of like the attention one. Attention could be included with physical touch and all of that. Oh, see? Acts of this service. This is what I think should have, what you should Whether have Whether you ask for their assistance, Oh, I feel that. Whether you ask for their assistance or not, you feel valued when your partner performs particular tasks for you. They've invest, like, they're, they're investing, they're investing their, their time and efforts into making your life easier or more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And then I would also say that I the physical touch too. I think you're this too. So it's perfect because I'm this for you because this is what you want. But I also feel like on the other quiz that I took, it's not so much receiving gifts, it's also giving gifts as well. And so giving I feel gifts. like when I like try to cook and stuff for you, that's also a love language of mine, like me trying to cook things. So that's why I get really She's sad. She's a good cook. I get really sad when you don't like the food I cook. I do <laughs> like it. <laughs> It's how I love you. Oh, you Eat my that? food. <laughs> I, I hear the cookies. I think they're ready. I think they are. Okay, comment in the comments below if you want us to take the legit love language test because I would think that's way more accurate. Or if you agree with those results. The BuzzFeed one. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Just so you know, granite can hold a bunch of heat. Okay, so now that we have our cookies ready, it's time to taste them. But first, <clears throat> and <laughs> Yeah. You can try okay. that one. I'll try this one. All at the same time. At yes. the same time. Cheers, Cheers to Ron Ron. Subscribe for a cookie. Subscribe. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. What's wrong with yours? Why are you making that face? Right. It's hard to speak because it's all gooey in my mouth. It is gooey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like six to top of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, and it's so good. The outside's crunchy. Look, it's mine's a little crunchy. crunchy. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? You don't like I it? I love it. Andrew, uh, what don't mm -hmm. you like about it? They're so good. Mm -hmm. Hey. You both clearly don't like them. So what is your actual opinion on the cookie? I think we did really well for playing around as much as we did. I did not think they were going to turn out well. I don't know who was playing around. I was being serious. <laughs> Me too. Let's see how your cookies turn out then. One question. How long into our relationship until you knew that I was the one? Mm. Yeah, you weren't ready for that question. I was just wondering, when did you know that I was the one? <laughs> Why are you like saying it so aggressively to me? For me, I think I really knew you could be the one was the day we, the second day or the night we met when I was like going through my checklist of questions, like asking like all these things, like my mor like your morals, like, like, are you a family person? Like, like all these things, like, where'd you grow up? I just remember that night I was like, wow, this is a good potential guy that I could end up with. But what really solidified it for me was I also had to know that my family loved you and could see what I was in love with you for. And so until they were like, they really could see you for you, then I knew that it was a done deal. But I already knew that I wanted to marry you and wanted to be with you forever. Like, what about you? It was a good Wait, answer. When did you know? The that first you night to marry when Swoozy grabbed my face and I'm like, what's wrong with you? And then like the whole like just movie montage happened in my head and I was like, oh, that's when I knew. Like to marry me? Mm -hmm. I told you this all the time. The she day you me. the time you realized that you I, I find this hey, really hard I don't hard care to what anybody else says. It is it, it is it, and it's gotten us here. How could you know that, that I was it? Have I not been telling you this our whole relationship? That was before we had those talks where I went through the checklist to see. I haven't been wrong. Aaron, serious answer. Seriously, no, that is really it. <laughs> be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure to hit that notification bell because I might be sending this cookie your way. Hi.